So the first step when solving a Rubik's Cube is to know what side is what. Now for what I'm going to use, and this is what the majority of the tutorials on YouTube will teach you, is what each side is called. This is called the front face, the one that is facing you. This is the up face. This is the left, the right, the back, and the bottom. Or I'll probably refer to it more as down. So it's the down. So up, down, back, front, right, left. Pretty simple, right? I mean, it's just the sides of the cube. What's a little bit trickier is what comes after that. Because if I want you to take the right side of the cube and I want you to move it, if I just say right and that's it, what I mean by that is I want you to take the right side of the cube, so in this, this case it would be the yellow side, but I want you to take the right side of the cube and move it to the clockwise position once. So what that means is that this side, if I say right, just means that you take this side and move it clockwise. That's it. Now if I say uh, right inverted, it just means that I want you to take the right side and move it counterclockwise. So if I say right, it means clockwise. If I say right inverted, it means counterclockwise. Same with every other, every other side. If I want you to move up, if I say up, it means I want you to take the cube and move it clockwise. If I say up inverted, you got it. Just move it counterclockwise. So you'd move it this way. That's it. Same with, you know, same with the left side. If I say left, move it clockwise. If I say left inverted, move it counterclockwise. And that's it, my friends. That is the first step to learning how to move the sides of the cube. All right, so now it is completely mixed up and you're ready to solve the cube. So the first step to solving the cube is to pick which side you want to start solving first. I started solving the green one first, so that's what I'm gonna teach you. So what you need to do is you have to find the cross. So all that means is that you have to put these four cubes in the right spot. You don't have to worry about the corner pieces yet, that comes next. But for right now, you just need to solve for the cross. So what you need to do is, we're gonna start with this one right here, just because that's where my finger is. <laughs> you need to find the green and red piece. When you, when you do this, it's not enough just to have this instead of being a red sticker, having it be a green sticker. It has to be green and red because the centers don't move. So this piece here is going to have to be red and this one here is going to have to be green. So it makes sense that you need the green and red piece. So what you need to do is you need to look around the cube for the green and red piece. So you just kind of filter it around and there it is. There's the green and red piece. So now what you need to do is you need to take this green and red piece and get it up here. So the very first step to that is to take this and move it directly below where it needs to go. So since it needs to go here, I need it to go right here. Now it's already on the bottom layer because it's right here. So all I have to do is just move the downside just once like that. So that way now, I need the piece to be here. Now it is directly below where it needs to go. This way, all I need to do is take the front face of the cube and just move it twice. So now it's where it needs to go. The green and red piece is in the green and red side, but it is not in the right order. The green has to be on top, and the red has to be on, uh, on the red side. 
So this is where your first algorithm comes into play. It's just a simple four move maneuver um, and you know it's really easy. I'll put it up um, on the screen. If it's not on the screen right now then it'll be definitely in the underbar. But that move is just simply front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. So I'm going to go really slowly and you can follow along. By the way, I highly recommend that you write these down. So your first move is front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. So now you see that the piece is in the exact same spot, but now the colors are exactly where they need to be. Now the next step is to solve for these three to finish out the cross. So if exactly the same as what you did for this piece, you need to now find the green and white piece. So you search around the cube for the green and the white piece. Here it is. So same thing, you need to take this piece right here and you need to move it below where it needs to go. So it needs to go right here therefore right below it is right here. So again it's already on the bottom layer so all you have to do is swing the bottom over once so that way it's directly below where it needs to go. Right here needs to go here. And just like the last time you just move the front face twice. One, two. This one's already worked out nicely for you because if you notice the green sticker is already on top. So you're done this part now. You don't need an algorithm for it. So now you move on to the next side. What side do you need now? The green and the orange piece. So you look around the cube for the green and the orange piece. Luckily for us, it's already directly below where it needs to go. So once again, all you have to do is just swing it up. Just like the first time, the stickers are backwards. So we need to do the algorithm again, which is front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. And there it is. Now the last one is the green and yellow piece. Now you just got to look around the cube for the green and the yellow piece. There it is. Again, it's already on the bottom. So, it's on the other side of the cube now. This is where we want it to be so that it's directly below. But it's back here. So we just got to swing the bottom so that the piece that we need is directly below where it needs to go. And all we got to do is just swing it up. And there it is. And that is how you solve for the first part of this tutorial.